want to succeed in YouTube, then you need to set some goals and expectation for yourself, for your channel, right? You want to give yourself a mission. You want to give yourself a vision. How do you visualize your channel in the next few months, like say five months? How do you, where do you want to get by the time one year is over? So today's video is going to be about that. Your goals and your expectations, which we all need to set if you want to grow our channel. Okay, so let's start the video. If you are new here, then you know the drill. Hit the subscribe button. Do not forget the notification bell because if you do so, you're gonna miss my videos. Before we start, uh, yeah, today's video. My name is Rosalyn Waridi. I forgot to introduce myself. Rosalyn Waridi here to help you grow your channel and help me grow my channel as well because I do research before I do a video and that helps me a lot and sharing it makes me remember, right? That's why you're here also. You want to grow your channel. So we're going to talk in depth about your growth and your expectations, how to come up with them and let's begin. One might look at having goals and expectations on YouTube as something really meh, something not that important. But keep in mind, just like any other business, like if you wanna start a business, you need to come up with a business plan. Similar to YouTube, setting goals and expectations helps you to not waver around by providing you with a direction that you need to follow and stick with and giving you a proper schedule and targets and make you accountable to yourself it puts your goals into a perspective now let's break down that short-term and long-term goals set up short-term goals which step by step are gonna help you reach your longer and harder to attain long-term goals and it's okay to change some of these short-term or long-term goals. Remember that adapting to change is also part of growth. YouTube changes its guidelines from time to time, so you're bound to <laughs> face this, which will conform you to adapt. Just don't stop growing, following, and seeing through your targets. Never overlook short-term goals. Remember that a simple action as improving your thumbnail in the long run will add value to your channel by one, one step at a time. Keep in mind that also the goals need, the goals needs, the goal needs, the goals need to be attainable. Oh my gosh, grammar. <laughs> Don't overexert yourself by setting up unattainable goals, which are gonna frustrate you if you do not attain them in time. An example is saying, I wanna reach 50,000 subscribers in one week, even though that would be fantastic to attain. But yeah, as a beginner, yeah, it's not really, it's a dream. It's just a dream. This doesn't always happen. To many of us <laughs> you don't just post a video and it goes viral overnight yeah it can happen later on in future when your channel has grown but when you're a beginner on youtube and you're starting up no that is not often the case additionally have a form of balance when you're making your youtube goals and expectations attainable but challenging if it's attainable and not challenging, change it. Remember, you only enjoy success when you achieve something you worked for. So after this video, sit down and set your goals and expectations for your channel if you haven't. It doesn't really matter if you have a small channel or a big channel. Yeah, goals and expectations, we just have to have them if we want to grow on YouTube. Keep in mind that there are so many big YouTubers who have failed in there because they reached a plateau and they had to either sell their channel or delete it. So goals and expectations are important to anyone seeking to grow on YouTube or just to anyone seeking to start or do anything is 
part of life if you seek to grow. So you want to make it on YouTube. Don't just write down, I want to be a YouTube success. Define in depth what being a YouTube success means to you. Set your short-term goals based on your long-term goals. An example of a long-term goal is you want to reach a thousand, 100,000 subscribers within this period of time. That's a long-term goal. It's not going to happen overnight. And if it does, that will be fantastic. But we need to be reali realistic here, right? So a short-term goal is going to give you guidance, provide you with a step-by-step -step journey to help you get there. For example, you can set a short-term goal like, today I'm going to make a video and I'm going to upload it, share it on all my social media platforms. And at the end of the day, I'm seeking to gain at least five subscribers. Secondly, have an upload schedule that through each upload, you seek to gain maybe three to five subscribers. Now through consistency, the number may go up, right? If you stick to your schedule, that would be great. <laughs> so that would be the perfect time to readjust your short-term goals, some of them. Improve on quality make better thumbnails make better videos you know improve on your content every time you upload something new and that is how we grow remember that a journey of a thousand steps began with a single step and that's it for today thank you for watching my video up to the end and increasing my watch time if you've made it to the end thanks a lot thank you so much i do hope that you picked something out from today's video and i hope you stick around every monday i post growth in youtube videos if you are a new subscriber here yes i hope you learned something new and please make sure to subscribe do not forget the notification bell because they do go hand in hand and every friday i also post random videos about either growth in finance i create knowledge about uh, growth in mental health and also i do lifestyle video from time to time or a collab because i also do want to grow my channel i do hope to catch you next time and i wish you well on your journey to grow your youtube channel do not give up let's keep marching on okay bye and see you guys next time